Hello and welcome. I'm Sophie Boyer de la Giraudet. We are at Wise Media 6 EMEA Summit in Abu Dhabi. And I have the pleasure of introducing you to Stefano Monservisi, the Director General of Home Affairs of the European Commission. The European Commission has been working a lot to provide increased uh, mobility and uh, security to our society. Would you like to tell us about the messages that you're bringing to our audience today? The message is the message about uh, our history. Our history is based on uh, uh, supporting mobility to support integration, mobility to get people closer. We started with the uh, free circulation of goods, we started with free circulation of service, capital, and the right last the free circulation of persons. Because it's the most difficult, because it implies uh, trust, it implies precisely to have more security. Therefore, what we are trying now to build on the basis in particular of the Schengen area integration is uh, to establish a policy line and to establish an institutional framework in which uh, systematically security and freedom uh, can not only stay together but can enrich each other. In these days, societies are sometimes a bit afraid of freedom. And I think that we have uh, to use our experience precisely to show that freedom should remain the objective, but can be supported by a new way of uh, uh, thinking and practicing security. This is the challenge. It's a challenge which will take uh, not a few months, but it will take years. That is the base of our work. What is the role of traceability uh, enabling technologies, of identification schemes in this quest of uh, uh, new means to support mobility and free circulation of assets and people. Well, traceability is uh, a key uh, a key tool in order precisely to ensure that what we want to achieve is is achievable in the sense that we can uh, know uh, what a person does uh, in crossing a border and what the person has not done, for example, if he's not leaving the, the territory within the given time frame. It is also important to show that uh, uh, you know we can know what the people are doing, not to for in, in, not for entering in their privacy, but rather to secure the collective uh, uh, environment, in particular in the big town. Now, I think that the real challenge here is uh, not to, to push two objectives in a separate way. I think that the key objective is uh, to ensure uh, the uh, correct and the fair proportion way to have human rights respected in particular data protection, privacy, you know, uh, which goes so far to uh, also the right to be to be forgotten over, over the web. Uh, and I think that therefore this is uh, the, the key way, otherwise people will uh, instinctively, uh, let's say, reject what public authorities are doing. At the same time, we know that in order to identify people, we need uh, to have tracking technology. And I think that here, in this event today, we are talking about ID technologies like uh, biometric, for example, which are crucial for that. We are, we are using them now in the visa information system. This is important. Sometime, at the beginning, this has been taken uh, shocking people. But at the same time, now we can show that this is also in their interest. This is not intrusive. This is a way to allow that the second time they apply for a visa, this will be much easier. So therefore, we can track uh, what is uh, the real intention of a person. So, but the real issue is to have a balance between the protection of privacy and the capacity of following what the people do. So, if so much is being done for the free circulation of goods and people by the European Commission, what is happening about cities? Are cities affected by the circulation of goods and people at this moment in time where we see, even the United Nations reported this at our summit today, that urban security is becoming a major breakthrough issue uh, faced by governments? Uh, how does the European Commission combine these two visions about free movement also across borders and uh, trying to keep a control on the territory? Well, uh, I think that here we have a situation which institutionally is a bit more complicated because uh, actually uh, the Commission has not, uh, and the Union, uh, to say, has not the uh, full power to legislate uh, and, and to make policy on this. We have to combine what is the national uh, responsibility and competence, which is about enforcing law and order, uh, in particular to take care of the security 
in their own territory, and what could be um, the uh, European framework and what what European framework can, uh, they say, add in terms of effectiveness, but also of proportionality. Here is something that we have to, uh, to to discuss, in particular with local authorities. I think that we need to identify what are the needs, because otherwise, seen from a general perspective, everything seems to be uh, addressed by the same challenge, but it's not the case. The one case is the challenge which exists in the big uh, suburbs, for example, or big towns, where there are problems of integration and public order. Another thing is what is the security in the center or in business districts. I think that all this is uh, very much based on local knowledge, on uh, local means that we can put in place. But first and foremost, these are decisions which must be taken at local level. But the Commission is ready to identify what are avenues which can be uh, followed in order to sustain all the time this, uh, this mix, security and protection of privacy, and also ensure a sustainable uh, uh, way of living together in big towns. This is very much linked to the EU 2020 agenda. It's not uh, just a question of uh, rights uh, and security. It's a question of growth. Obviously. So, and from in this, you know, security could be uh, to have a secure uh, transport service. Uh, could be to have a security uh, information service, Wi-Fi accessible to everybody. Uh, so, it but it requires a careful analysis of what is going on at national, uh, even more than national level, sub-national level. Thank you very much, Mr. Mansalvisi. We look forward to uh, continuing the debate with the Future Cities Working Group and as we gather for the first Future Cities and Mayor here in Abu Dhabi. And we are delighted to have you with us. Thank you for this. Okay.